On today's episode, a Gudak. Across the globe, what's delicious is questionable. Why would you eat that? Ah, ice cream. Creamy, delicious. Is there anything better on a hot, sunny summer's day? No, no there isn't. That was rhetorical. And it's no different in the frozen tundra of western Alaska. Except the ice cream here is made from berries and seal fat. Yeah, look at that fat seal. Anywho, a guduk, or Eskimo ice cream, is a delicacy of the Yupik people of western Alaska, and in their native language means mix them together. The traditional diet of these arctic hunter-gatherers was rich in protein and fat, but contained no dairy and very little in the way of vegetables. There's not a lot of vegetation in the tundra, but cranberries, blueberries, and the cooler sounding salmon berries, crowberries, cloud berries, and Academy Award winning halleberries all bear fruit on the tough little shrubs that dot the melting snow of summer. Because when your dinner is seal meat, dipped in seal fat, topped off with a bit of fortifying seal blood, very rich aguduck suddenly seems like a pretty great dessert. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Quiquo, your ice cream, we get it. Mm. Traditionally, women, like this one, trust me, she's a woman, she's just wearing a coat, made it for special occasions like a boy's first hunt and a boy's first funeral. Each family has their own recipe that's passed down. And just like regular ice cream, there are a variety of flavors and methods to making a guduck, all based on the available berries and meat. Oh man, my bad. It can be made with reindeer, moose, fish, seals, like this guy again, walrus, or whale oil. Seriously, go nuts. Whatever you can think of, will it blend? Yes, it will. Here at Why Would You Eat That, we strive for maximum authenticity and maximum coworker distress, so we'll be making it as close to the real deal as we can in Southern California. First, place the fish in water and bring it to a boil. After you let it cook, let the fish cool in the water to keep it tasting nice and fishy. Press all the water out of it, leaving crumbly meat behind. Next, we'll add a couple of cups of organic shortening and mix with our hands until it's blended well. Then uh, add some vegetable oil, sure, and mix it until it's creamy. This is great for my cuticles. Whip air into it with your hands and then add handfuls of sugar to make it sweet. Mix it until it dissolves, then add berries, and then tuck it away to serve at a communal office birthday. But we'll get to that in a second. Hmm, yes. But why would you eat that? Well, if you were a Yupik, you had to. Hey, kids, I brought ice cream. Aw, oh, not again, Rod. Don't call him that. What, Mom? That's his name. He's not my real dad. Their protein and fat-rich diet kept them warm and strong during endless winters, in which starvation was always a very real threat. And unlike the ice cream us fat Americans are familiar with, traditional aguduk is rich in good-for-you monounsaturated fats and omega-3 fatty acids. And depending on the specific ingredients used, aguduk also provides ample amounts of vitamins A, D, and C. Fast fact! While Arctic explorers from the Western world were plagued by scurvy, the Eskimos' diet kept them free of such vitamin deficiency. In fact, despite their high fat intake, they didn't have a problem with obesity or type 2 diabetes until we tried to integrate them into Western society. In your face, Alaska! USA! USA! Now let's go to a birthday party. Everybody thinks the food we hand them is bad, so we put our aguduk in a waffle cone with sprinkles and snuck it into the company birthday celebration. Looks like our bosses don't even care what we do anymore. Oh, I don't think we've actually met. Have we met yet? Ethan. 
How was uh, your desserts? Yeah, you uh, really good. Just trying to stay healthy with some fruit. I had like a weird snowball cupcake thing. Although it was weird because I didn't know what I was eating, but it was tasty. Good. Yeah. Good. Is this a prank? Huh? <laughs> I, don't, I want to like have like the you know she looks it up. It's like you had like Yeti scrotum. Yeah, that was Eskimo ice cream. Eskimo ice cream? Yeah. You made ours. It was really really good. Yeah. It was kind of berry -y and ice creamy. Do you know what I mean? But like with a secret ingredient. So yeah. you're not allergic to fish? No. Oh, that, okay. that is awesome. <laughs> that, we were so <laughs> nervous. No this could have went wrong real quick. Yeah, yeah. And we've got so much evidence. Yeah. No, yeah. And that's Agriduck. Uh, click like, click subscribe, share it with friends. Come back next week for more of the Why Would You Eat That? Take me away, Chris. Oh, wait. You're sick, man. I'll do the work for you. Zap. Oi, you there, love, sitting on your Jack Jones, waiting for a butcher's at the latest, why would you eat that? Well, you can get a Captain Cook out now. Revenge is a dish best served grilled. Watch spicy Thai food have its way with the Milk Master. Everyone's doing it, but we do it better on the Why Would You Eat That Challenge. We take this viral meme down one can at a time. Where can you find booze as strong as artisan New York City distillers? In the Navy. They asked me to sing that last part like the village people, but I'm not gonna. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.